convert to T-splines command converts an untrimmed NURB surface to a degree 3 T-spline surface. To show this, I'll open the T-splines heads up display and just click this to hide the manipulator because we won't need it. And this shows me that what I have selected is one NURB surface. When I click the convert the T-splines icon, then it will convert this to a T-spline surface without uh, changing the surface. A few more examples. Here is a NURB surface. Clicking the convert the T-splines icon gives me a T-spline surface. One more example. Degree 3 NURB surface. Click the convert the T-spline icon. And as long as this is a degree 3 NURB surface, there is no change when this, it is converted to T-splines. If you have a trimmed surface, then it will be untrimmed when converting to T-splines. Poly surfaces need to first be exploded and then converted to T-splines. You can see if I try to convert the poly surface by itself, um, I can't actually select it. So first I need to explode it. And that will give me six surfaces. And then I can just convert each surface individually to T-splines. NURBs that are degree four or higher can be converted to T-splines. So if, it, if this is a this is a NURB surface, I'm just going to type the rebuild command because that's the easiest way I know how to show the current degree. So this is degree 5 by 5. When I convert that to T-splines, then it will be rebuilt to degree 3 when it's converted. So here's another NURB surface, checking the degree by typing the rebuild command. This is degree 2 by 1. If I have a, degree surf a NURB surface of degree 1 or 2, and I convert that to T-splines, then by default it will be rebuilt upon conversion. There's also an option in the T-splines options that allows you to not rebuild surfaces when they are converted to T-splines.